to the F Plus Podcast. <laughs> Crashing thunder sound. <laughs> A terrible place. Um, uh, shouting woman with terrible things. Somebody saying the word feminism. Red with enthusiasm. <laughs> and in the room tonight, we have Boots Rain Gear. Cody screamed, fuck, this guy is right behind us. Then he grabbed Cody by the shoulder and yanked him back. Cody was pretty tough, so he threw the guy off and ran straight past me. Frank West. I'm in a screaming light ball. Achilles Elys. She was a seven-year-old doll at the time. <laughs> Dijon du jour. Bed shakes when my SO and I are in bed together. And Lemon. I asked her, do I smell like that? And she said, I don't smell you enough to know. In this weird, unbecoming Existent. This is a normal question. This is a normal <laughs> opening question. Have you ever like done a work function and you yeah, have yeah. to do like icebreakers? Yeah. <laughs> Can you ask the question again? Uh, how have your encounters been? Close. <laughs> Ooh. All right. All right. Anonymous. All right. Nope. That works. That works. Uh, well, um, I think that, uh, you know, one of the things that I've been in a little bit of a rut lately, I've been in a little bit of a rut. This, these are sort of like blending into each other, you know, day turns to night. And, and, and I think one of the reasons why that is, is that there just hasn't been enough, you know, mystery in the world, enough, enough, hmm. uh, enough intrigue. Um, yeah, there's not enough going on in the world. I would like yeah. more things happening, please. <laughs> <laughs> open up the newspaper and it's mostly empty. Yeah. <laughs> That's why they invented the term delight scrolling. <laughs> Ooh, oh. <laughs> yeah, uh yeah, but um but I uh I want to I want to uh bring us to a a place uh where uh wonderful things happen. Uh, it's called Reddit, or reddit.com. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, this time around, we're going to be going into uh, a, spe- a uh, two different uh, subreddits. Uh, one of them is r slash creepy encounters. And then the other one is r slash let's not meet. Uh, we're going to, uh, this was a document, uh, given to us by Semantic Weeb, and, uh, thank you so much. Uh, and we're just gonna, like, listen to some, some true stories from some people, mm-hmm. yep. uh, that had real super true things happen to them. Um, mm-hmm. and then, you know, we're just gonna, like, be awakened with the magic, uh, and mystery of the world. <laughs> cool. Great. Um, so, uh, so to that end, and again, this is, expect spectacular things. Um, so we're going to start off uh, with this story. Uh, Frank West, uh, oh, me. you are a user by the name of Imagine Dragon Rocks. <laughs> okay. Imagine Dragon Rocks. Imagine, oh, imagine the Dragon Rocks. Oh, yeah. yeah oh. It's pretty good, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah you're welcome. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And the, oh, the header has a, has a hover effect. That's very scary. Um, mm. uh, mm. Yeah. But um, what uh, what happened to you there, Imagine Dragon Rocks? Chased by freaks at the water park after tooting too many times. Boy. Oh, boy. 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 This happened a really long time ago. Mm -hmm. (laughs) But I still get scared. I'll see these people again. When I was a really little kid, I went to the water park and said, Guess what? I am big enough to go down the big slides. Wow. To the air. (laughs) Guess what, slides? I'm big enough to go down you. (laughs) So I went to the biggest slide. It was called Zimbabwe Rapid Rush and Mm. walked up with a tube. Okay. I know what you're thinking. What is so creepy about this? Just wait for it. (laughs) This is called building anticipation. Zimbo B-Boy. 
Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. If I search for that, I just come up with this thread on Reddit. <laughs> huh, yeah, it's, it, it's just this thread's just that notable. That's why. Oh, <laughs> that's why it has zero updates. <laughs> I had been eating chili fries all day long because they are really good, and I don't get to eat them at home, but it made me really have to toot. So while in line, I heard these big boys behind me saying, hey, big boys. Oh, gross. Yeah, big boys. You know, that's what we call a group of large males, big boys. Yeah. Oh, gross. Something here smells like the S word. Whoa, thank you. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> they kept making jokes that someone in line pooped their pants. Meanwhile, I am getting really steamed because I didn't, and they were only toots. I decide I won't stand for it and would get them back, so okay. right before going down the slide, so okay. they can't catch me, I said, yeah. maybe it was you who pooped his pants. Nice! Mm, yes. Damn. Uh, wow. Yes, the, Got him! The, the, <laughs> the perfect comeback, really. Then I... What? And then I went down the slide, and I was gone himself. forever. But when I got to the front of the slide, it was way too big and really scary, and we were really high up, so I could not do it. <laughs> Plus, I basically just admitted to being the tutor. Busted. <laughs> I threw my tube at them as hard as I could, so they would maybe fall. We were really high up, but they are really big, and there was water below us. Yeah. <laughs> I ran as fast as I could, but they were really mad at me, probably for tooting so many times. So they and the lifeguard started chasing me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's, this is like a Bethesda game. <laughs> yeah. The lifeguard was also a big boy, so he just sort of joined in. Well, right. yeah, yeah, big was, boy code. Mm -hmm. big, <laughs> the big, big boys boy remember outcast. this. He <laughs> was bopping up and down the street. <laughs> They were saying really scary things like, get him, really loud. Get over I here. <laughs> Finish him. I almost made it to the bottom of the stairs before one of them grabbed me by the arm, which actually didn't hurt that bad, but they had to call my parents to get me. <laughs> I didn't even do anything wrong because you can't control passing gas, but I still got huh. told I really messed up by my parents, and I still am scared I will see them and never want to go back to that water park so they can finish the job. What, what job is that? <laughs> Grabbing my other arm. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, did the big boys evict you from the park? I don't... <laughs> they grabbed his arm, and it didn't hurt, but it hurt enough that his parents had to show up. You were kicked and out of the park? Him... Were you kicked out of the park for farting? <laughs> Yes, and his parents hate him for it now. <laughs> no son of mine farts. <laughs> can I? Can I? Uh, can I read some other uh, posts by Imagine Dragon Rocks? I mean, please, yeah, absolutely, <laughs> oh. yeah, Ooh, yeah. Um, a lot of it, a lot of it's opinions on music, which is not surprising mm -hmm. from him. But yeah, uh, yeah. one is uh, Megadeth is better than Metallica. Uh, I mean. Uh, uh, Sure. Yeah, the rock Pass. band Creed. Pass. The rock band Creed is way better than the rock band Queen. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Fine. Okay. Sure. Okay. Sure. <laughs> and I don't know. Uh, anyone else find it odd how much Kremlin sounds like Gremlin? And uh, cool. Good. good. Yeah. Good. The uh, good of, one. of Bush's glycerine. He says this song is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and then, the government has done so much bad stuff. It's crazy. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no. uh, dragons actually. Does anybody dragons. else think Star Fox is actually really scary? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't just... gotten far enough in this creepy encounters episode to think that yet. Uh, Dijon, uh, what did you find? Uh, yeah, I uh, I found my creepy friend. Oh, okay. I'm a I'm the tea drinkers. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I have a friend named John. He's quite into mythological beats and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 
speaking quite frequently Sh- of Check it, it Socrates! <laughs> boots and sphinx and boots and sphinx and boots. Socrates is a mythological. Sorry. Socrates is just a man. Socrates is just a man. My bad. <laughs> You gave Frank rest enough time for his joke, so don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. Today's the day that he was looking at Socrates is just a man. Yeah. <laughs> just an innocent man. man. <laughs> Speaking quite frequently of it, even having a religion surrounded by them, believing in the Greek and Roman gods and such, my friend is Socrates. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I believe it's called... Anonychist or something similar? Uh, um. I think it's just called annoying. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> annoying. Uh, I worship. I worship Aries. <laughs> <laughs> so, he speaks frequently of his hate for preps and such. Yep. At the moment, we're in middle school. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so one day in seventh period, we were taking notes on something. When he takes three fingers, makes a gun, and pretends to shoot it at this guy. Oh, my God. Wow. He also makes the beheading gesture. Greeks and Romans are always doing that. The beheading? The yeah. beh- so he, like, sort of, like, creates a <laughs> guillotine, like, with his hand? <laughs> <laughs> Elaborate shadow puppet? Is it, the, like, the, the, the thumb across the neck Yeah, thing? the, the no, finger across the throat. Yeah, yeah, it's probably yeah. that. Yeah, okay. Mm. The class freaks out. The teacher attempts to call the police on him for death threats, and he attempts to justify it by calling it the good fortune for beheading. And three-finger point look up. What? Huh? (laughs) And the the teacher is stunned by this logic. (laughs) Walks out of the room. (laughs) <laughs> apparently he was already having a difficult time calling the police <laughs> the teacher makes him drink hemlock <laughs> and now we've reached today agreed we were using our laptops and i looked over and i saw him on google drawings he was making listen I guess six years ago, that was a thing. Mm-hmm. He was making a satanic summoning drawing. Pentagram? <gasps> okay. It was surrounded by candles as well. The laptop, presumably. <laughs> what, what, what a tattletale you are. <laughs> Dear Reddit, he how do wasn't we call paying the attention, and <laughs> and he cheated off Marcus. <laughs> uh, so I call him out, and the teacher looks up and calls him to his desk. John begins to delete everything, close the lid, and walk over the teacher. He sent back after showing him it was harmless. He then began to justify it by creating something similar and calling it summoning of dragons, then later knowledge. I I just have a small breakdown at the end of every paragraph. It's fine. So, uh, kind of really, really creepy. Just thought I'd share. Great, man. Thanks. Kind of creepy. Yeah, thanks. So much. creepy. <laughs> thanks. Thanks so much. Hey, the tea drinkers. Um, can you read the piece in uh, lime green that that this subreddit is putting a- above every post? Oh yeah, uh, you've had to have subscribed to this community, uh, so please respect that by not downvoting. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. Cool. <laughs> they also have the style sheet option where you c- the downvote button is removed unless you are subscribed. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, love, I love all of this stuff. Okay. My name is Kermit 2008, and I'm going to tell you about Halloween of Hell! <laughs> okay. All right, great. So, when I was young, I used to go trick-or-treating with my family, and one year in my town, there was this house that never gave out candy, but for some reason it was, but we had ah. a baby sister, and there was a long line, so we did not go to that house. Mm. I love I love when, when really young people write when I was young. 
<laughs> it's like that, that Mitch Hedberg joke. I used to do drugs. Right. I still do too, but I used to. <laughs> what do you mean? He's 2008 years old. <laughs> Uh, so, as we were trick-or-treating and it started to get cold and dark, we went home. As we were on the way home, I saw the cops zoom down the street, and I did not think much about it because there were always cops going down the street. Good? When I got home, I was getting ready for bed. My parents had the news on, and, there, and I was nosy, and I wanted to see what they were watching. And on the news, that house that never gave out candy, the news reporter said, The cops just broke down this door at two so and so house to find a horrible sight. There was dead people and body parts. <laughs> oh, no. This, this is in quotes, by the way. This is what they actually said on the news report. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Sort of a stream of consciousness there were, report. With dead people and body parts. They had a few families on in, the street. In other news, <laughs> citywide carbon monoxide leak. <laughs> when the kid noticed, this is still the news report, when the kid noticed how heavy the bags were that opened to find the human remains, and I will never forget that year. <laughs> That's my story. Okay, so, hang on. Did somebody write that in your yearbook? <laughs> Hang on, the kids. So, did did the people did the people just put entire bags of body parts in the kids' candy bags? <laughs> Don't open it till later. <laughs> uh, Boots, will you tell me about the cult of the clown, pretty please? I, I, would, I would love to. My, I am Ceratox. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. uh, I'm gonna go to the to go to the subreddit here and see. Yep. If you have not yet subscribed to this community. <laughs> Everyone remembers the 2016 epidemic of killer clowns, right? I had a terrifying experience with clowns this 2021. Whoa! It wow. was May. It was May 2, 2021. It was May 2, 2021. Oh. I'm a. Th- I'm an 13 year old teen at Puerto Rico. My parents 13 year old teen. Yep, 13-year-old teen at Puerto Rico. (laughs) My parents live at a forest area. We own a farm. Hmm. Things are pretty normal here. Until that day, it was a night at the farm. Dad told me to go check outside to see if any of the chickens were outside of the chicken house. At first, nothing was too out of hand, but then I heard sudden sounds in the deep forest. I wasn't sure about if I wanted to check out, but I did. Then I saw it there where there where eight men dressed up as clowns. <laughs> there where there, <laughs> there where there where uh, eight men dressed up as clowns laughing while dancing around what seemed to be a burning pentagram. Uh-huh. But it didn't seem as a normal pentagram like those you see in movies. They were dancing around it, and then one of them noticed my flashlight. He yelled at How the others. How was the pentagram abnormal? You forgot to mention that part. <laughs> That's not important. Oh, okay. It was so weird. It was shaped like a shaped like a pile of sticks. It, was <laughs> yeah, it, looked, it looked like somebody made it on Google Drawings. Oh. <laughs> it had six sides. <laughs> He yelled at the others, who quickly noticed me. They stood still for a while, but then started walking away, looking at me slowly, while disappearing on the dark forest. I told my parents and asked if I should tell the cops. They said I should not do so, because if they were near home, they would probably know it was us if it spread across media, because if someone manages to keep themselves as a secret for so long, they should have the power to erase entire families. I hope none of them is looking on Reddit, but please, if you ever see something like this, do not tell anyone and back off, because bad things happen to snitches. Stay safe and please don't. I won't. I won't stay safe. Thank you. So... so (laughs) Stay safe and please don't. So, may I ask, have you ever encountered something like this? No. Can I just... (laughs) Uh, Can I read the first rule of this subreddit? The fir- the top yes, rule. Yeah. Oh my non- god. For sure. Nonfiction only. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. This happened. 
I mean, I've it's... encountered the, the clown uh, the clown party. The, the eight <laughs> clowns that were dancing around a pentagram that looked strange in some way. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't like a normal pentagram. Yeah. Not that the is things. all. <laughs> Also, this this subreddit is for the stuff that's mildly creepy. <laughs> this is this is the, the one for the mildly creepy. Oh, so. oh, I see. Oh, I didn't know there was levels. Okay, see what I well, yeah, the next was one a, was just to... a little bit creepy. <laughs> Not enough to alert the authorities. Yeah, it's just a. I mean, if there were like twelve clowns, maybe, but eight. Eh. I could take eight. Can't even make a pentagram, right? <laughs> You got there, Heelys. Hey, I'm PJKC10, and oh. an unknown man in my alleyway sings to my muski. <laughs> Husky. All right. Tiff. All right, then. Just for you guts that don't know an alley, an ally way, <laughs> is a long lane of ground that parallel fences from Sorry. each house oh either sides make up. Oh my God. I'm on I'm on the other side of the street, so I actually have an access way. <laughs> this happened to me ten minutes ago at zero zero twenty two and it's a hundred percent true. Okay. Alright, cool. That's, that's fucking yeah, amazing. Not Great. Hour. <laughs> never, yeah. You know? I've never had a story start like that before. Just, just so you know, here's what an alleyway is. <laughs> just for you guts. <laughs> just for me guts. Well, yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna <laughs> just for you guts. That. Need that context. All right, just for me guts. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> Sorry, one second. <laughs> are you are you too creeped out by this? Is I'm very I, yeah. This is nervous <laughs> laughter. Sorry. <laughs> so so a little background. I am 16 and I smoke. Bad, I know. Yeah, yeah. you are bad. Yeah, <laughs> I, I smoke. I smoke bad. Yeah. I bad. currently live in Essex, England, and I sound like this. And yep. my mom works nights at her job in London. And being the only child, I have a free house myself for a lot of the time. So I take it upon myself to stay up all night. And as I did tonight, I went out for a smoke. Cool. That's awesome. Take it upon myself to stay up all night. <laughs> yeah. My slef, I should have said. Um, when I go out for a smoke, I like to listen to music. So I went on YouTube and being a Linkin Park fan, I started yes. playing Nubs. Yes. Awesome. Sure, yeah. That's very cool. Yeah. The sing came out of my phone louder than expected. <laughs> Uh, and as I did, I hear a lot of moving coming from the ally way. I brushed it aside as my loud music and thing I had scared a cat or something of that nature. Oh man, somebody's about to get flash mobbed. <laughs> I pressed play on my phone and resumed listening. I then start to hear a humming, lower, petite sound, so I stopped the song. There was silence. And then I shit you not, a voice carries on with the next line of the song. I freak out and blot towards my door. As I step into my patio, I hear a voice. Hey, I like that song. <laughs> I slam the door shut, run up to my room, and place my desk in front of it. <laughs> I don't know who this man slash woman was. Yeah. I don't know what had... What to do? I am home alone. I don't know if what he or do? she has gone. This is not the do. first, huh? Okay. No, it's just somebody. Somebody in the ally way, like is. Uh, he goes. He goes. I'm also sad and hate my parents. Wiki, 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 wiki. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh god, it's so freaky. <laughs> this is not the first time some has tried to come slash hide in the ally. Although this is not a frequent occurrence, I apologize if my grammar and spelling is off, but I had to write this down as soon as I could. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm willing to ask any questions, update if anything else happened. Okay. Oh, you're willing to ask any questions? <laughs> um, 
I'm gonna. And, I'm gonna. And, did you see uh, yeah, the comments? Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, uh, my name is Fertile Taco. Uh, uh-huh. I got two points. <laughs> Uh, maybe they were also smoking in the alley and like that song. No, no, dude. I was in my garden. The alley way is private property and a small stretch of growth that separates houses. Like, he shouldn't be there. It's not meant for walking down. It's not even one meter wide. The alley way isn't private property, though. <laughs> Enemies aren't allowed in the alley way. Yeah, no one in the alley way. <laughs> all right uh i'm uh i'm gonna skip past uh the next uh terrible terrible scary Mm. story uh in the store in this uh, document but uh i just want to let the listeners know that the next story uh was written by jew fucker 1945 jesus christ yeah Mm. yeah that is a very reddit name (laughs) Good job, good job, Reddit. Glad that's yeah. still. A oh, it's, a, it's all. It's also file. a clown in the woods story. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so anyway, uh, we are gonna uh, leave uh, this place because uh, I, th- I think we were um, insufficiently uh, terrified, um, and so now we're going to get into paranormal encounters. Mm-hmm. Uh, years ago was the last time we did paranormal encounters. I think the only episode that has Chris Collision in it. Um, I think. Uh, but that's a good one. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, so uh, my name's Flash Flash Kiki. And I just want to tell uh, you folks about this Reddit. Um, uh, I'm getting messages in my meditation that these UFO, at least the ones that look like orbs of light in the sky, are actually native to the Earth. Whoa. Yeah. Right? Okay. Mm-hmm. So they are a type of species that survive in the atmosphere and with corporeality that is made of photons. <coughs> right? That's, yeah, okay. Uh, they know us and our mood swings quite well. They don't expect eye contact because they know very well that we punish anything that is other. And their bodies are pure energy that could be easily harnessed for weapons. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I, I'm not. No, I'm not high. Why? Why are you asking? Me it's like super that? easy. I would do it in a minute if I yeah. could. So <laughs> now, all all aliens are very small and made of like metal, and they fit in a gun. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're from they're from Earth. They're not aliens. They're just UFOs. I, mean, I do like I do like the idea of like it's like a like a like a like Zack Snyder's uh, Gulliver's Travels. <laughs> <laughs> where he picks up the Lilliputians and shoves them into a machine gun <laughs> <laughs> while a crying man shoots them. Um, I didn't think anyway. I wanted to see Zack Snyder direct anything anymore, but maybe I'm on board. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, uh, in other words, while they don't want to kill us, they're also waiting patiently until we destroy ourselves. The funny thing was when it's when it said to me, "quote Your species converts holy lands into unholy lands of death." Oh, wow. got him! The oppressed become have become the oppressors. We fear this. That wasn't in quotes, and now this part is. Oh wait, no, that's the end of the quote. No, yeah, no, the, it's just a really bad font. Oh, okay, great. Okay, sadly, unless we have a global awakening, chances being very slim. We will never know them. Though my contact seems to think that human rebirth as a being of light is a thing which they believe in, this is why they do not kill us as we deserve based on our activity. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 senses. <clears throat> they do not need oxygen to breathe. Just photons and other material like minerals and water to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> they are born from light and do not require sexual interaction. They are a feminine energy and worship the earth itself. Wait, so they're aliens, oh. but they worship the earth? Huh. They're not aliens. They're just UFOs. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, they're UFOs. From yeah. They're okay. from here. Man, I'm sorry. Yeah. I've been I've been brainwashed for so long. It's it's just hard for me to, to yeah, see the no, truth now. Yeah. Yeah. We all we all have this trouble. Yeah. It's all this so, unholy land you've lived been living on. So imagine identified how... feminine <laughs> objects. <laughs> 
So imagine how they feel watching the Amazon burgs burn and the lakes oozing with chemicals. They neither love us or hate us, but they can spot compassionate energies and are drawn to them. They say they wish they could do more to protect the protectors and shield the innocent, but stress that until humans can evolve to move away from faiths of blood sacrifice and into faiths of interconnectivity to the true source, which requires no cell form or violence towards others, that they will stay hidden, confounding our discoveries and moving through the doorways of the hidden spaces that humans crave. So, if you really want to connect with the paranormal, period. <laughs> <laughs> The end. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Yep. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> um. Uh. Oh. Uh, uh, this boots is a quick one, but uh, you met yeah. a creature, didn't you? Yeah. Uh. I. I'm Wyatt. Has opinions. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. oh. Oh dear. Yeah. I've met a creature. <laughs> He is not a ghost. His name is Tim. I named him that. He's a humanoid creature. He figured out English. He's taken a liking to me. I find him charming, and he's very nice. Also strong and unaware. He's so strong, and he said he wants to give me a hug. My friend and I gave him soup. This is a very cute story, and he is not malevolent. <laughs> so, uh... So, so Wyatt, Wyatt, I know that you have opinions. Obviously. I have opinions. Obviously, I clicked on your name there. Yes. What kind of opinions do you want to share? Yes, uh, I said come brain, lol. <laughs> I, oh, my God. Yep. I have, I have, oh, wow, I am, <laughs> fuck. Any <Whoa. laughs> wow. Mm-hmm. I am, I am the worst. <laughs> I belong on 8chan, not Reddit. <laughs> Farewell! <laughs> oh, he's been called back to his home planet. That's nice. <laughs> well, there is one thing here, which is he just posts about gotcha games also, so there's that. Oh, okay, cool. In addition to all the other horrible things. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. cool. There's, uh, there's just one more here um, in the... Uh, uh... R slash Doge lore. Oh, no. Oh, no. Doesn't wait, why go to go to r slash doge lore for my hate speech. Don't go there. <laughs> uh, there's one more that we have here in r slash creepy encounters and a uh, uh, Frank West. Uh, That's me. Your poker in your poker fish and poker fish and pool. Okay, your poker Poster, fish and pool. poker fish and pool. Yep, yep, yep. I'm a poker fish in a pool. Yep. <laughs> My ex-girlfriend and paranormal experiences. So, Exene Sermanka? <laughs> so there's so much that happened between my last... Between me and my last ex that blew my mind and opened me up to a whole new side of this universe I thought didn't exist. I had sex, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> at this time i was living with a girlfriend at the local strip club they rented out rooms by the week upstairs oh, oh you were oh. living at the strip club okay <laughs> yeah no you, you thought that was a mistake <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. and ended up for <laughs> me And ended up breaking up with her for this girl across the hall. <laughs> Come on. Come what on. The fuck? This is this is a Grand Theft Auto plot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I can imagine the fade in and out of the yeah, cutscene uh, here for yeah, sure. No, this is, yeah, this is this is Shut this is up, episode. bitch! This is <laughs> Oh Carlos, you're here. I need you to do something for me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this 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 is definitely the plot of an itch.io visual novel. <laughs> there was just something about her, and although I heard stories about her, she was extremely beautiful and really fun to be around. We both felt like we were each other's opposites, as in I was a male, her, she is a male me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> now I understand that sentence. Woof. <laughs> Quite the puzzle. <laughs> I was, I was male her. Male. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Could I make it any more obvious? <laughs> yes. <laughs> anyways, anyways, at this time it was a heroin junkie and she was into sniffing fentanyl. So she's dead. She's you know, a dead person. The two opposites. Yeah. She's not alive. She's not alive. <laughs> <laughs> if one is into that, they're... <laughs> <laughs> That's why she's turning old. She's a ghost. Yeah, no, just doing, just doing lines of fentanyl, just, just, just <laughs> racking them up. My other ex hated that shit, so I got with her, and it was go time. She had been a stripper since twenty one and had a pretty wild life too. Okay, but she had only ever done needles a few times. When she was with me, though, she was down a hundred percent emoji to cool. do it, and she trusted me because I was an experienced professional. <laughs> oh, oh, professional junkie! Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, no, I took the licensing and everything. Um, let me show you. <laughs> Take my hand. <laughs> those, those certifications are really hard to get. Yeah, it's not easy. Always used clean shit, knew where to go, in and out, every time. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so at this time, we were only doing heroin, but she always wanted a half gram or gram of coke every day, so I got her that, too. Aww. It's good. Uh, like, I, I, like it, I like it when uh, junkies uh, pride themselves on, like, I always use clean rigs, and it's like, cool, thank you for telling the truth, heroin addict. <laughs> <laughs> to grab my heroin, I had to travel butt train about an hour to the other side of Toronto to do, and do the whole thing to get what? back. <laughs> to grab my heroin I had to travel butt train about an hour. <laughs> okay. a, what you want? A long time. <laughs> These you, trips you can't you you Sorry, you do... I, I I honestly thought like cuz I I wasn't reading along. I I thought you were smuggling it across the city for some no, reason. No. <laughs> you, you, you get the heroin in eastern Toronto. You do it in western Toronto. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The whole railroad track divide obviously. <laughs> Yeah, you get it at the docks, you do it at Etobicoke, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> These trips we made usually together, but if she was sick, I'd tough it out and go and get it. Because after all, I'd be able to shoot up and soon, uh, I'd be able to shoot up soon as I got it. Oh, oh motivated by heroin, are you, heroin addict? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> okay. It sucks to go get heroin, but then I do get heroin. <laughs> so, you know... <laughs> The best part about getting the heroin? Guys, I gotta tell you. <laughs> There's an unexpected perk. <laughs> was, was to like I was gonna suffer with her until I got back to the club. <coughs> so the one day I'm coming back and when I come in the room, she was holding this pearl necklace in the air and it was like spinning. It was spinning. When she saw me, she had that look someone gets when they get caught doing something they're not supposed to. Yeah. So I she, kept... was a, she was she was a heroin addict in possession with an unsold pearl necklace. Got it. Yep. <laughs> She's a fentanyl addict, not a heroin addict. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> God. So I kept bugging her, asking what the fuck it was all about. And she said, you're just going to call me crazy. Finally, after me nagging her, she told me what she was doing. I have a guardian angel that I speak to all the time, and when I have serious questions that I don't know the answer to, ask my guide, and she and tells me what I need to hear. Okay, okay, got it. Obviously, at this point, I was basically an atheist drug addict junkie and oh, thought it was some... Classic. Woo-woo-woo. Stripper shit. I feel like somebody's about to turn his chair around. <laughs> But we, sorry, woo -woo. Uh, <laughs> but we talked more and more about it, and it came out that her whole life, as far back as she can remember, supernatural shit has been happening to her. From seeing Ghost, I guess the movie, to yeah. having the conscious contact. Well, live. With, she, saw, she saw Ghost live once. Oh, wow. wow. To having the conscious contact with this guardian spirit her ability to predict future events, and she was super amazing at finding things that go lost. Hey, you're gonna go buy more heroin. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, I am! <laughs> woo 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 Next week, you're gonna lie to your mother! <laughs> 
You're never gonna guess. I found I found the jewelry of, of yours that vanished, and also the hundred dollars that vanished out of your wallet. <laughs> wow. She told me she had been asking her spirit on advice for me. At the time, I was doing a lot of shady stuff, B and E's, car hopping, robbing drug dealers, and just ripping a lot of people off. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Apparently. This whole time, she was getting me to do the ones that her spirit guardian said I sh- could do. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I, I guess I missed it in all of the... Yeah. But the, uh-huh. Can you list your crimes one more time? Um, I was doing a lot of shatty stuff. Yeah. B&Es, yeah. car hopping, robbing drug dealers, and just ripping a lot of people off. Car hopping. So, car hopping. delivering burgers to people and <laughs> drive up restaurants? No, no, he, right? yeah. he jumped on top of cars as they were driving by and surfed on them. <laughs> oh! That's what the, uh, it's, it's the more politi- politically correct term for the Chinese fire drill. Okay, <laughs> go. Uh, apparently, this whole time she's giving me to do the ones her spirit guardian said I could do, which... <laughs> He can't fucking handle that guy. Don't have to mess with that guy. Trust me. This one, he's a pussy. You can fucking steal from that guy. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. I even started using the the necklace too, but I had my own, all made of pearls. So you- <laughs> this is when shit started getting crazy. So I didn't know who I was asking these questions to, but I now believe it was a dark spirit. But he did give me good advice as far as which houses to go into and which people to rob. Oh, so that tripped me out. All right, all right, yeah. So it's still okay. It's, so it's still Grand Theft Auto. That's nice. <laughs> Spirits are pro. <laughs> it's putting it's, the spirit is putting the little letters on your mini map. So you know we are moving into Saints Row territory at this point. But I think this is the darkness. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One day when we were low on heroin and I was about to make the journey for the next ball, I saw she still had like half a G of Coke. I read online and had heard you could IV it, so oh. I said, hey, why the fuck not? Yeah, why? Why? <laughs> yeah, why not? Why not? Why? Yeah. Ooh. Why? Don't worry, he's a professional. Yeah, all right. He yeah. he only uses clean shit. He said that. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and only and and only yeah. uses online sources for uh, for info. <laughs> Doing my first IV shot of cocaine was in 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 itself a spiritual experience. Where she almost died. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you became a spirit. She saw how it made me moan and lie on the bed, so she wanted one too. So I gave her one, and we laid down, and suddenly we were so horny, and my dick had never uh-huh. been harder in my whole entire life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. At this point, we had been together just about a month, but she had never seen my full rock hard dick because I was always on so much heroin. La 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 la. Hey, so this is supernatural somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Heroin's a thing. Yeah. Do you, want, do you uh, want to hear a supernatural story? I got a I actually, I actually had a full erection once. <laughs> wow! I got it all the way up. <laughs> All I had to do was do a lot of cocaine really, really fast. <laughs> Got it. I hope yeah. this end, I hope the story ends with a pentagram in the woods and clowns. <laughs> I hope so. This poor dark spirit holding your dick up. <laughs> <laughs> get, uh, uh, okay. All right. Let me just get, you know, uh, there we go. There we go. Al mm, definitely a grower. It was some of the best sex either of us had ever had, and we made a decision to get on methadone and just and start just smashing coke. <laughs> Time to get clean. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. you know, it's a fifty percent reduction: heroin and cocaine to just heroin. <laughs> or wait, no, just cocaine, just cocaine. It's fine. I mean, I guess there's still fentanyl around somewhere. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting yeah. sniffed. Then it became a whole nother ball game. Yeah. We would shoot up and start seeing these dark show doe figures in the room watching us while we fucked. Yep. Mm-hmm. She started acting weird. She didn't want me looking in mirrors. All this paranoid shit that usually comes from too much cocaine. Were you doing too much cocaine? Yeah, you were doing were you a lot of cocaine. What <laughs> <laughs> do you feel like? I, I, I get what happened here. You, you have left me the clues to detective this one out. <laughs> There were so many paranormal threx experiences that me and her shared. Too many to all write out, especially if no one wants to read them. 
Yeah, no, we roughly wanted to hear all the details of your drugs <laughs> and your drug sex. But here on Paranormal Encounters, we don't really need the paranormal details. <laughs> Boring. <laughs> oh, so we get, we get point form. Perfect. Mm, so or, here's sorry, a list sorry, of... Sorry, enumerated list. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's a list of all the major things that happened to me and her. Please request in comments is you want the full story and details, and then I will take time to write them out. Paranormal experiences. One. Yeah. We sewaged bodies during sex. Wow. Two. I am a guy, and during sex, I squirted like a girl. What? Come what? again? From, Come from again? where? What? Well, from he the, did. From his <laughs> like a girl. Like a girl. <laughs> Like a girl. He squirted out of his urethra. I'm pumping my dick like a girl. <laughs> Time we robbed a drug dealer's house all by chance and got away. <laughs> it's a three company situation. <laughs> whoa, whoa, I'm stealing the TV. <laughs> Wait a minute. This isn't my briefcase. <laughs> Brought a bunch of dice in. I'm going to steal. The chair. <laughs> the port a potty demon situation. Yeah, that's it. That one. Yep. Yep. That, one. that one. Me saving her life three separate times. Yep. Her and my best friend ODing at the exact same time. Only she came back. A lot more to it. What? Us being able to read each other's mind. Mm-hmm. The time we fucked so hard, her bed broke, and the one side came in, even had to adjust our position to find when I finally got up, bed was completely normal. Wow. Cool. Twilight. All right. Nine. The haunted mirror. No more. Ten. The creek people. There are more, but those would be fine to start with. (laughs) The creek people? That's all? That's the creek people. (laughs) Oh, I heard the Greek people. (laughs) <laughs> oh, you're a scary story about Greek people. <laughs> There's no details either way, so could be Greek. I mean, you know that one song. It da 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 da. That's pretty scary. <laughs> <laughs> Most recently, as I got to back together with her, we had, and I don't know how else to say this, but we had a telepathic war in a hotel room where she tried to kill me backfired on her and used my own powers to almost obliterate her spirit from this world's yeah, dog. second oh yeah <laughs> she blasts you did it second <laughs> end paragraph or end parentheses <laughs> what hmm yeah so if this post doesn't belong her just direct me where to cheers i don't know what belongs her so might as well stay here <laughs> oh there's a lot did someone did ask for clarification on four and nine and they posted long posts wow oh, no. uh, is there anything actually worth reading in your in your drug addict clarification i it's a wall of text so you're so asking me much. to do a lot of parsing very fast <laughs> oh my god that's so much text uh, I saw Catch-22. I'm closing the window. Uh, <laughs> uh, this next section, uh, so that was uh, that was, uh, that was a r slash paranormal encounters, a brief t- detour into the spoopy. Uh, this next section that uh, Semantic we put together is called I Know How Drugs Work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Actually professional. Uh, so, uh, um, I think uh, Healy's. Uh, yeah. I'm going to give you a choice. Okay. Uh, we got two different stories here. Uh, one is by Senvar, uh, and uh, it's sort of a Fox News headline kind of thing. Crackheads at Walmart? <laughs> okay. Uh, and the That's other one do. is called, uh, it's by Mick Lulz, uh, and it's called Abandoned Hospital. <laughs> I want to do abandon hospital. <laughs> okay, well then, uh, Fear me, then take it, pretty hospital please. Law. Hus- hospital law. <laughs> Hi. Hi, I'm Mick Lulz. This happened a couple days ago. Me and my friends decided to go to abandon hospital about mm. 8 a.m. from the city. Okay, bait and switch. The road we took with our bikes went rally fast. <laughs> We entered the hospital from the back. At first, we went to upstairs and tried to get to the roof, but the door was locked. Wow. So we went to discover the laundry room, gym, etc. Uh, After we decided to leave gym? the hospital. Gym? Gym. <laughs> Hang on. Gymnasium. In a hospital? 
Yeah, yeah, all for where all the sick people work out. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Uh, after we decided to leave the hospital, we were walking the stairs down. We were at one floor, still walking the stairs, when we heard a step and a loud crack, and me and my five friends started running stairs up about two or three floors. Wow. Wow. <laughs> my three other friends stayed there with the man. First, I thought it was a landlord, but it was a drug user. Whoa. <laughs> my friend says the guy... Hello. Guy answers. Hello. <laughs> yup. <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. Then the guy was wearing a green construction jacket and trousers. But only after he said hello. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> had to load in. Uh, <laughs> so, so at first he was T-posed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like floating just like three inches above the ground. <laughs> Guy started to reach something in his pocket that was the moment when me, when my friend, three friends started to run. The guy didn't follow them right away. The guy was searching us all the time we were there. Me and my friends started going the one open window. We got out. My two friends tried to get up, but didn't fit. Oh, no. Because <laughs> right. they got jammed in there like two cartoons. They... <laughs> oh, no. My friends are tummy thick. Yeah. <laughs> I was last one to get out of the window. I started hearing steps from behind me. It was the guy I jumped out of the window and got away. My three other friends did the same later. It was the most scariest thing that ever happened to me. (laughs) What? What? What happened? What? The only thing that I could parse is that some people were in a hospital, and a guy said hello. Isn't this? Is there anything? Yeah, else I'm so scared. Here? Okay, all right. He had a green construction jacket and trousers. <laughs> he may or may not have been doing drugs <laughs> or construction. <laughs> Both of which terrify me. Yeah, the little, yeah, the little like label over his head that that originally said landlord, but switched to drug user <laughs> <laughs> when his when his life bar showed up. Uh, Dual class. Uh, uh, what you got there, Dijon? Yeah, um, I either I either mind control or drugged by a couple. I'm I'm bass and I either mind control or drugged by a couple. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I either my base and by a couple. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm bass and trepid. I'm a fish. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, m- yeah. Me, me, a D friend, decided hang out with them because sort of at a party on my birthday for my old best friend or guy co-worker. I gotta tell you, base and trepid, okay. I've been looking for a D friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good, because me, a D friend. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. All right, great. <laughs> so, number. so the couple who last one want to go to a bar across the street, but they were strangers, and I thought it was weird. But my friend want us to go anyway, so we did. All right. When we were the boyfriend or husband, bought our drinks, which was nice of them, but weird, considering that didn't know us very well. When they asked play bar games at first, want to do something separate but start play pool. <laughs> <laughs> this what gets weird start play pool when what? she lost even though he bragging about good she was lost because put the black ball in. She Whoa. want him to keep going even though the game was over suddenly wow. he was great at playing pool. Is and this she... chat GPT-1? Is that what this is? <laughs> <laughs> and she kept saying, said you used to play to play the game some like that. <laughs> I felt some more like playing the game, more trance I got, but I tried pull out of it. I saw her shake her head and he getting angry, so tried different attack where she would talk to us, but I was already creep out. That drank my drank so fast and one friend to leave. I want to leave. Didn't what they planned, but it was scary. I left weirdly aroused, even though wasn't, and everything was so dizzy. 
But I believe that if we had stayed longer, either have oh dear us <laughs> be with for couple. So your, that was an entire story written by like autocomplete, right? Like it's just <laughs> just hit next. Yeah, yeah. If, if, is this this the new chat is a new thing? Is you you start you start a paragraph with me a d friend and see what it goes from there. All right, let's uh, okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm doing it right now. Doing it right now. <laughs> Let me just message Boots Rain Gear. Okay, me a d friend. Okay, of mine is a little bit of a break, but I don't know. <laughs> All right, it's pretty much the same. Yeah, that's, I got that a message was... from Lemon. <laughs> no, let's see what it says. It says let's see, me a d friend of mine is a little bit of a break, but I don't know. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, that was basically right. Trevor's only post on Reddit ever. <laughs> <laughs> they short circuited. Yo, my name's Yiz Yizig. Yiz, yeah, my name's Yizig. Yeah. Uh, okay. You see, as you get. Yiz, yeah, I don't know, maybe. Uh, this is uh, this is just a short story I want to tell you. Uh, some some stoner was smoking a blunt at the park when I was walking home from my work, and the dude started following me. I kept looking behind me, and he looked stoned. So I took a turn into the alley and went into my house via the alleyway. So much alley talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was later the night. Hey, hey, come on, man. Come on, man. I'm building a story here. (laughs) (laughs) So I went to the house, right? It was later the night, and I was jacking off, and the guy is staring at me through my window, and he wouldn't leave, so I called the police, and they took the guy, and I'm waiting for a response. Yeah. (laughs) Oh. What? (laughs) Yep. What response do you want? Do you want to know how your jackoff was or what? Yeah, as I wait for my review. <laughs> Three and a half stars? What the fuck? <laughs> Just jerking off, looking the stone out of my window, saying, Come on, man, get out of here. Come on. Shoot. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so uh, that section, of course, uh, I know how drugs work. Uh, this uh, possibly nearly the last section here uh, is called I Am Very Badass. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. It's a completely different um, section for part. me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think, Frank West, I'm going to let you have a choice here. Ooh. Um, so the first story. <laughs> mm mm-hmm. <laughs> I like this first one a lot. Mm-hmm. The first story is by Hustler Player Pimp. <laughs> That's <laughs> so me. <Wow. laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, this user deleted their account. Uh. Hustler Player Pimp. Um, uh, uh, okay, and then, uh, yeah, so that story uh, by Hustler Player Pimp is called I Could Sense That My Friend Was About to Be Murdered. Uh-huh. Uh and then the uh, second story is called Guy on Bus. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, you don't get handed a role like Hustler Player Pimp and turn it down. All right, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. Uh, yeah, so uh, so tell me about this friend who's about to be murdered. <coughs> or, well, I, well, don't actually mention that. Probably talk about other shit, I assume. <laughs> well, yeah, no. <laughs> it's called a story. <laughs> I could sense that my friend was about to be murdered. I met this friend in high school. We went to an all-boys private Catholic school. Pimp. My friend... <laughs> <laughs> that's that's where pimps start. <laughs> <laughs> my friend Brent and I were from a local blood gang called 31. <laughs> They're called 31 uh-huh. comma. Because <laughs> it's a uh-huh. quote. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're right. Yeah, we're from 31, comma because there was already one called 31. They got there first. <laughs> but this friend, David, was from a rival game called Newburg, which was way on the other part of town. <laughs> but David always said he was from our gang too, which was impossible. <laughs> but we didn't mind David. 
David would always throw up our gang signs and act like one of us. Our gang signs? What our gang signs. Gang signs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, three and a, a one. three and a one, yeah. and then a little. We did the comma with our pinky. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I always chose. I always chose my gang sign, and Saints Row was always uh, the eastbound and down one. <laughs> Uh, after a while, David switched schools, and we didn't see him much more after that. So one day, I was walking down my street coming from a Chinese restaurant, and I see David! My My first thought was, why is David in this part of town? David's gang, Newburgh, was 20 to 30 minutes away, and he was on the wrong part of town. Something was fishy. I really didn't care, but I knew he was in danger. I think your detective novel is really going to kick off. <laughs> <laughs> I just need a name that like puns on it being a Catholic school, but also a gang. I can't, I can't make it work. Oh, Saints Row. Damn it. No. Fuck. <laughs> also, a local blood gang? I don't think the blood's <laughs> franchise. <laughs> Blood gang, yeah, the, the local chapter of the uh, the, 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 the blood. <laughs> I figured like a vampire gang or something. Yeah, exactly. Oh, 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 that, that kind of blood thing. gang. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blades, blades yeah. coming. <laughs> David the appears. Masquerade for... begins. <laughs> <laughs> David appeared fine. He had a fresh new haircut, new clothes, and was just hanging out on the corner. That's how I noticed David while walking home. We spoke very briefly, then we parted ways. Then about a few months later, I saw David again, but this time he was even deeper into the very worst part of my neighborhood. Mm-hmm. I wondered why David, a person from a rival gang from far away, was in my territory. <laughs> even I wouldn't be where David was. I actually was at another completely different Chinese restaurant on Broadway Street when I ran into him this time. Yeah, I- I fought all the goons in the playground, marking, <laughs> <laughs> and I did it three times. Therefore, the territory is mine. <laughs> There's no way the rules all... that says anybody else is allowed to take it over. <laughs> <laughs> he was all by himself, and it was beginning to come become dark outside. But he appeared to be happy. Anyways, <laughs> good. What yeah, to he was. <laughs> well, don't be happy listen. so soon, reader. Listen, I'm gonna tell a creepy story. One important element in a creepy story is a man is fine twice. (laughs) Well, that's because it's a real story. Okay, yep. Real life isn't always so cut and dry. Sometimes it's a little messy. Sometimes people are happy, okay? (laughs) Okay. I mean, really? No, I don't think that's true. (laughs) No, it's usually not. (laughs) I've spent spent a lot of time on this earth, and I don't feel like in real life people are happy. That's that's fair, that's fair, that's fair. Anyways, instead of warning David, I minded my own business and went about on about my day. Great. But not that long after seeing him, I saw on the news that he had been murdered in gun violence in my neighborhood. Murdered in murdered gun violence? Murdered in gun violence. Oh, he must yeah. have been killed by a cop, because that's how yeah, the news exactly. would write it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> there was a gun-related incident that the police were involved. A bullet was ejected from a gun independently of any other potential actions. <laughs> yeah. man, man foolishly gets in way of bullet. <laughs> <laughs> but man was arrested 20 years ago so yeah, mm-hmm. that's fine. Yeah. who's the real monster i have no clue why he was in my neighborhood like i said i think he glorified my gang more than his and really wanted to be a part or a member yeah. i have the news article about what happened but i don't think i can share it as a link why <laughs> Because I, why, why not? Because it hurts too much to think about. Ghost in the computer. I just think about David, who I don't care about that much. And that time he was happy, and I saw him happy. It's just like, oh man, your 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 Catholic raised suburban gang is so much better than mine. <laughs> I want to be part of the Bloods. My gang is called Newberg. <laughs> it really does sound like he's talking about Grand Theft Auto Three. <laughs> So I, I thought I thought it had a very very strong like uh, West Side Story. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. yeah. <laughs> he was in the bad part of town though, like the part that he wouldn't even go in. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, he was in like uh, New New York. <laughs> 
Yeah. Down, <laughs> downtown, downtown New York. I Which I, I like. Da- the most dangerous a, all boys Catholic was, school. Yeah. He was at he was at the mall that doesn't even have an American Eagle outfitters. <laughs> <laughs> a story. I, I wouldn't even go of. there, even. even though I can see him. So I'm pretty close, but I wouldn't go down the street over there. Uh, one the next thing I want to get to here uh, as quick as we can is mm-hmm. uh, this piece. Uh, this section is called uh, "Short Pieces with Creative Punctuation." Uh, he's if you'll start us off, please. A strange man in line. I was shopping today. While I was in line, this one man probably in his 50s or 40s, and he seemed a little weird. He only had a small whiskey bottle and a small banana, and he said something to himself in Russian. But I didn't wow. understand stood it, and I just wanted to know who I was, but I kept <laughs> silent, and he started to talk to some of their teens. We were waiting in line, and then later staff came in. He was told if he won't shut up, he was about to be kicked out. He wasn't even the distance, but it had to be a safe point, two meters. So when I was done paying for things, I got out and didn't think much after I got home. So now I'm eating my potato chips and drinking my Pepsi and chilling out. And remember, folks, stay at home and wash damn hands. <laughs> I'm Canis Guy, DQ Restaurant Creep. So yeah. I lived in a small town. Over the radio, we learned that there was a creep in our area. So I didn't think any of it right. But once I went to the DQ tonight, with my friends. Creep. Yeah, I went to DQ <laughs> with my friends. This was a year ago, in quotes. Somebody said, I guess. I don't know. And there was a guy that was in a red truck staring at me. Uh, but I didn't think anything of it. So me and my friends came out. And that guy in the truck was still there only looking at me. It was hella creepy, though. End of story. <laughs> I'm ooh, I don't know. Oh, there's some. There are someone in my house. <laughs> oh, you don't. Know. <laughs> are there? There are a fuck person in my house. <laughs> <laughs> there's a fuck person in my house. <laughs> my okay, short. I'm in my bed. <laughs> I woke up 40 minutes ago by keys in my door. My parents are working. My brothers are at school. And I have a second floor bed, like not on the floor. It's a mezzanine. (laughs) My bed is suspended from the ceiling. This person walking, I DK what she was doing, but she searched something making a lot of noise. I DK who it is. Maybe it's my parents and I am paranotic. But it's really unusual. I'm mm, not English. I try to be understandable, but I'm <laughs> afraid I DK what to do. I can't t- to call cops if I DK who is the person I am mm, hiding in my bed with a knife for the moment. That's true. If you call the cops, you don't know the person. They won't show up. <laughs> I try to be understandable. <laughs> the story's called The Boy. Today a little boy came to me and asked me who I am, where I am, what I am. Do someone know what he means? He told me that his mother told him that he must go to me. So he mean that she say she can help you. Go away from here. Here it is not safe. Then he run in the woods. I was confused and I walked home. Ein paar students später habe ich einen Aruf nit nine in quotes, bekommen. Oh, Duh. I'm <laughs> I'm Sansko the Skeletono. <laughs> this was terrific for me. <laughs> oh, all right, great. Oh, good. Nice. Nice. Welcome to Reddit. Yay. <laughs> I guess I'm the creep. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> One time, I was playing my 3DS, and me and my brother and my sister heard a knock on our door. My mom and dad wasn't home. We looked at the cameras. There's a man with a bow. Sorry. <laughs> Not the hidden cameras. Just cameras. We saw a man who looked like he was shot and stabbed five times. We, I guess we count it. <laughs> we locked ourselves in the bathroom and we were scared to crap. Oh, that's a terrible Mouse. thing in the bathroom. That's what you're supposed to do in there. That's the point, yeah. That's the point of this place now. <laughs> My sister called 911 while I called my mom. After she yelled out the door, saying, We called the police! After that, they ran. We were okay, but I'll never forget that moment. This wow. was terrific for me! Wow, I'll wow, never wow, forget wow, that wow. This was terrific wow. for me! Wow. Senzo the Skeletono! <laughs> <laughs> I'm the good and the bad 23. The teacher! The reason why I wrote about the teacher is because I had a creepy encounter where a math teacher in seventh grade would take naughty teens in my and others' classes and bring them to a room. Oh, okay. All right. Uh Yes, go on. I never actually knew what was going on in the room. 
because I never got in trouble in her class. Oh, fuck. But a really scary encounter was when my friend got punished and was sick for the next four days. We all thought the teacher did something to him, but it was probably just a coincidence. This teacher inspired me to write my short paragraph, which I hope would be better. <laughs> I'm sorry, sto- Reddit! And that's what I did on my summer vacation. <laughs> I will describe a story that I will never forget sometime. But that's another story. Have a good day and stay out of trouble. <laughs> I'm Mr. Crew, and this is the Halloween. Hello, I'm Sasha. It's the first time I write on this Reddit. I remember I was uh, Halloween day. I decided to watch a horror movie alone at home because my parents were away from home. Cat, while I was looking for a movie, I heard knock on the window. I was scared, and I I said to see on the surveillance cameras if there was something. I didn't see anything. I forgot to say that I was in the living room. (laughs) <laughs> there's, there's no way to go back and put that in and there are three <laughs> windows one on the left one on the right and one above me skylight <laughs> i had heard from the right now and i found my film and when i started it i heard in the kitchen a lot of broken glass i froze in fear i ran to go get a knife from there i didn't think he could have been there and to kill me but luckily that didn't happen I had taken the biggest knife I could find, but I remembered something. I forgot the back door open. I ran as fast as I could to my room, and I locked myself there to call the police. I heard the door open. I had a small viewfinder in my room. I'm sorry. I looked at the viewfinder. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I looked at the viewfinder. It was a bloody clown with a gun in his hand. <laughs> I quickly hid in the closet and called the police, and they told me it would arrive in five, ten minutes. <laughs> or free. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> I could hear them looking for me in the house with a gun in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> Say gun, 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 gun. <laughs> Time passed so hard. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> I love it. Time passed so hard that every second I felt it for yeah. a minute, but yeah. fortunately I saw the police lights and I felt relieved five policemen came in from behind and surrounded him. I heard they called, them pressing. They called they, the five, five cops? They, five yeah. cops showed up? Okay. Yeah, yeah but here's, right. here's the sound I heard. I heard them pressing the trigger. <laughs> and, and, and how what he, a big ass fucking gun they had <laughs> and how he pierced my right leg and they told me that I could go out because I am safe I still have nightmares with this clown but because I met that clown I took a pistol for self defense so for the good of the clown I hope we don't ever meet again <laughs> this is your start <laughs> you're still looking out for the clown <laughs> Hey, hey, I'm Creative Contest 311, mm-hmm. and this is X Breakin. I was sitting on my couch home alone, playing the classic 80s game Mike Tyson Punch Out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Sure. My mother was working, that's why I was alone. Out of nowhere, the power goes out. Same time the power went out, I heard a huge rip in the basement. <laughs> Is that like a giant bong rip? <laughs> yeah, because that's where the electricity wickham load is. What? <laughs> the electricity wickham load? Wickham wickham Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, what you call it? Oh, that's what oh. you're going for. <laughs> wow. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Oh, wow. wow! Okay, all right. Oh, so, yeah. So the the, the 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 thing that's in the circuit break. Oh fuck! I can't. No, I don't know that word. Um, so what you call? No, I can't spell that word. Oh fuck it! Oh my god! Jesus! Wow! Christ! Oh, oh fuck! Macalot. All right. That when I see an oddly recognizable face, it's the Wicked Macalot. I ran up to my room and locked the door. That's when I heard the creepiest thing of my life, ellipses. Oh, Michael! Yes, that's how I spell my name. Michael. 
Hey, I, I gotta say this right now. If uh, um, if anybody manages, to, if you know somebody provides us a really good drawing of the uh, uh, of the, the cryptozoological creature, the, the, the Wicca Macalot, the Wicca I'll, get like Frank West, Wicca I'll get Frank West twenty one dollars. Twenty one dollars. Twenty one dollars. All right. All right. All right. You heard it. You heard it here first. Uh, twenty one dollars on the line. Uh, if somebody can provide boots ring, you can post it on Ball Pit. You can. Uh, we, we don't tweet anymore. You can. Yeah, what I if, I really need this money, yeah, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> if you give Boots Rangier a drawing of the Wicca Macalote, uh, Boots Rangier will give Frank West twenty one. I am exactly twenty one dollars behind on rent this month. I really need this money. <laughs> <laughs> I hope this episode gets edited really fast. <laughs> It's actually yeah. the oh, 31st no. right now. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah it's, you're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get this out tonight? Is that possible? <laughs> Anyways, that was so creepy. Next thing that happened is I heard sirens and the guy was arrested. <laughs> I, nobody called you're the arrested. cops. They just showed up. You're caught. <laughs> <laughs> when I went outside to see the guy who broke into my house, it was my mom's ex. Okay. All right. I yep. was surprised. Anyways, I went back to dream, <laughs> back to bed, and had a dream about my real dad. My mom's ex. <sighs> Long story <laughs> short, this was creepy. My dream, boy. specifically. Oh, boy. Why would I oh, dream about boy. him? It's fucked oh, up. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, you have problems. Uh, <laughs> skeleton to the living room. <laughs> Oh, yeah. My name's Insane Fandoms. All right, Pardon. so this is a story my mom told me. This is her <laughs> earliest memory. It's a creepy story about my mom. She <laughs> said that she was about two or near that age. Oh, God. She went downstairs in her home one morning. She woke up before anyone. She went near or into, I forgot which one, and she saw a bunch of skeletons <laughs> playing around together. <laughs> <laughs> They're playing their rib cases like a xylophone. Um, <laughs> all the skeletons stared at my mom, and my mom stared at them. Oh, the skeletons my- looked at you? Yeah, 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 <laughs> with their hollow, like, you know, yeah, whatever. Uh, my mom met, went upstairs, and then back downstairs, uh, and then they were nowhere. Um, my mom said that there was probably 20 <laughs> skeletons. Oh, That's a fuck. There's a huge living room. <laughs> <laughs> Very tiny skeletons. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't say they were human skeletons. Yeah. <laughs> well, baby guys. <laughs> my, my name is... Oh, boy. My name is Hernergzi. <laughs> um, Small Eastern mm- European country. <laughs> There's one vowel in that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's at the end. <laughs> Worst place than that. My dad? Ah... Uh. I'm 19 year old. I'm 19 years old, male. Oh, live in a small city called dot dot dot. I was in my grandma's house when this happened to me. My grandma and I were at the dinner table when suddenly, when suddenly my mom went down the stairs and told us to get out of the house right now. Okay. My grandma was starting to get it. <laughs> Ancius with the situation. <laughs> and Theo, my mom, started to run to the door. When I started to follow her with my grandma, I looked back to see a face on the stairs. Gosh, I ran so much. <laughs> oh, <Oof>. gosh. <laughs> Just a face in the stairs? Like, on the... Golly. <laughs> a face on the stairs. <laughs> when we were out of the house, my mom started to explain the situation. Apparently, my DOS wasn't in the room with her anymore. Oh, my what? DOS box. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> and when age... Oh my fuck. And when age really dade it. <laughs> realidad. And when age realidade it, a guy appeared in her back. Whoa. He wasn't with a weapon, he just looked at her and then ran, and then she ran to the stairs. <laughs> After a while, sh- we saw my dad looking at us with a weapon. Well, yeah, he was just drunk, but I swear that the face I saw on the stairs wasn't my dad. What the fuck? Fuck was that story? Stairs, you're not my dad. The d- was... dad was drunk and showed up with a weapon and spooked everybody, but then they're like, "Oh, it's fine. You're waving a weapon around. Yeah, you're like, just I dad." I feel like there's oh, a story of drunk. domestic abuse. Like there's a story of a domestic abuse so deep in that story. <laughs> yeah, that I can't pull it out for your language because somehow the focal point of this is that they saw someone else 
I thought. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Unrelated to any of the other stuff happening. <laughs> yeah, like, like in that case, like, he kind of puts it at the end. It was like, oh, it's my violent, abusive father. <laughs> so yeah. that's fine. <laughs> but I could have sworn there was something actually scary. <laughs> sure, oh, yeah, spooky yeah. stare, Dad. Uh, and then uh, closing up this uh, this document uh, Achilles Healy's we have a list of titles semantic we put together oh somebody wants me to download whatsapp and I don't know why Uh, his name is Mark Zuckerberg uh, (laughs) I heard some strange noises coming from the woods should I go and see what it is (laughs) how far away from the woods are you some distance. It's going to be fucking clowns again. <laughs> something something whistled at me and my friend, and I don't know what. <laughs> Weird hand. <laughs> <laughs> I was almost being f- followed on my way to work. Almost. This one almost follow you. <laughs> <laughs> My house may be getting increasingly haunted over the years. <laughs> Stop doing the murders. <sighs> no. <laughs> Ever he's heard point. of? He's got a point, John. <laughs> <laughs> Ever heard of murder, Mountain? <laughs> no. No, I'm not. No, like I, I told you, I told you, I don't buy early access. <laughs> Coming to a next door near you, the SUV that slowed down near me. Okay. <laughs> all right, fine. And there were black people inside. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the evil camp counselors. Bigfoot teleported in my neighbor's yard and abused me emotionally. Yeah, yeah. typical. Typical, yeah. yeah. <laughs> of course. Clowns at a campsite. I was almost kidnapped and thrown in a van and dismembered. <laughs> All right, so this- listen. I'm about to grab you, and when I do, I will put you in this van, and then you will be dismembered. They were gently placed in the van and scratched. <laughs> <laughs> My chubby, stalkerish thing person. I'm bad with titles. <laughs> I disagree, actually. That's pretty good. I'm I'm clicking on it. It worked on me. (laughs) My ex is a weird man with so many issues. I mean, okay. (laughs) Creepy Serbian on a bus. On bus. (laughs) (laughs) Really just... My story about the homeless man. Oh, it's next door again. Jesus Uh, Christ. Yep, yep, yep. I saw a killer crown at school, sort of. (laughs) Are people who use methamphetamine more susceptible to possession? What are the lesser known signs of possession trigger warning? I wish I had evidence to back up my claims! (laughs) (laughs) That's it. Uh, <laughs> uh, what did we learn from any of this F plus? Uh, well, I learned that it's apparently just normal enough for kids growing up now to have surveillance cameras around their home that they don't bother setting up why they're there. So <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is it, is it like that? Good. Is it that, or is it that a it, like a couple of subreddits that naturally like accumulates uh, like really paranoid people happens to attract a lot of A, drug dealers, and B, wealthy people. <laughs> <laughs> what what percent of, like, self-authored stories on the internet do you think are creepypasta at this point? Is it, like, 80%? Oh! I mean, I don't know. Because, like... Because, like, I mean, there's also has to be not always right, and, like, that's a certain amount of yeah. internet, too. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Okay, but it's it's a big number. It, it's a, it's it is a, a big number. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, it's a way to write. It's a it's a format with which you can write fiction. Um, I don't think it's ever succeeded as being readable fiction, at least that I've ever seen in my life. 
Well, kids don't get around a campfire to tell scary stories anymore, so they gather around the glow of the internet. I'm 80. (laughs) (laughs) Holy shit. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually, I already have, I'm writing a medium piece about that as we speak. And oh, it's probably great. It's going to get published oh, in the New York God. Times. Oh, that's, no, 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 that, that is, yeah. that is 19 page Atlantic article. Mm, for okay, sure. that's oh, cool. Yeah. I'll make no, sure to right. stagger it because I'm doing mine on my sub stack, so. <laughs> <laughs> have we lost the ghost story? <laughs> <laughs> Somehow it's a piece that you've been researching for two and a half years. (laughs) (laughs) Well, that's because no one's subscribing to my Patreon. Right. Yeah. yeah. (laughs) This this, will push it over. This will push it over. Uh, Yeah. I I don't. I don't. I I mean, because to your point, like, to your point, I just don't. There is so much creepypasta. And obviously, there's it's, it takes no effort to write, mm-hmm. um, but it is all crap. Like I can't, I can't imagine. Like I guess that's the thing is I'm trying to figure out. Like, are there readers who see that thing and go like, "Holy shit! Wow! Really? Wow! Oh my god! That was great!" I think there I, are twelve year olds that do yes. that. Yeah, okay. yes, 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 because. Kids like looking at like kids like looking at good things, but they also like looking at things that they can do themselves. Well, kids like the worst dog shit in the world, and then if they can do it I themselves, mean, that's even better. Yeah. 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 yeah, like that's so like it's really fun for a kid to read a creepy pasta and be and be able to engage with it because they can just make that also. Yeah, sometimes literally the same creepy pasta. They'll just write the same shit. Like <laughs> they're kids, they, make, they don't know not to do that. You can make Beth the killer, the the killer guy who wears a red shirt instead of the blue one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like we recently, like there was re- there was very recently like a household discussion because uh, my daughter is now at the point that like uh, she wants to make a lot of her own sort of like YouTube decisions, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. and 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 there was like. Uh, and and she was like she was like we need to spin up my own account because I'm tired of you judging me for my YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> for my YouTube watching uh, and I'm like, yeah, no, that's fair. That's no, fair. You don't need up. that in your life. You yeah. don't need that in your life. Yeah. <laughs> and the cat's in the cradle and the silver spoon. <laughs> Because <laughs> for because because like up until that point, like it was giving a mushed recommendation engine that was oh. that was me, and it oh. was also and it was also her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it was yeah, that's like, not good. It was, like, <laughs> it was like, hey, what would you like to watch today? Would you like to watch uh, this Taylor Swift music video, or would you like to watch Pond to Floor? <laughs> <laughs> and then every once in a while, it finds a Taylor Swift Pond the Floor. <laughs> <laughs> like, re- like mixed together it's like I fucking got it yeah <laughs> <laughs> finally uh, our website is always T-H-E-F-P-L dot U-S forum is ball pit uh, ahoy lemon dot X-Y-Z is a place with like dumb websites uh, and uh, as of this morning I'm starting a new one I'm not going to tell you anything about it now but uh, it's a good idea and it's going to be fun no, uh, we actually as of this posting, um, I, I gotta say, by the way, uh, thank you so much, Puppy Time, uh, for a bunch of your drawings, including the Mothman versus the Bourgeoisie. That thing uh, has been selling so well. Uh, people really love, people really love uh, Mothman uh, destroying, the, destroying the means of capital. Um, <laughs> And uh, I want to do more merch um, uh, in general. Uh, folks that are artistically inclined, please reach out to me because, like, I just, you know, I'm not artistically inclined. We've talked about a hat for, like, a year now. We've talked about a hat for, like, a year, and I can do it. Uh, I just need I just need some help from artists. So reach out to me, and we will make more merch. Bye. Also, bye. buy some. Maybe check out the merch. Maybe there's merch right now, or maybe not. But bye. <laughs> Thank God for the drugs and drugs.
Hey, Lemon. Hey, Lemon. Yeah, yeah, Garfield for Todd. <laughs> right, wow. right out of the way. All right. Wow. Wow. Fine. Wow. wow. Fine. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm a little cheaty, honestly. <laughs> Boy. Early. If this oh, is no. where you're at now, where are you going to be in like 10 years with no, that, that was, one? Oh, it was perfectly smooth. It, 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 I felt like it fit right in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, how have yeah. your uh, encounters been? 